We continue now at the top of Daf Nun Aleph Amin Beis and Meseches Nedarim. This is Nedarim Daf Fifty One B. The Mishnah says Min Hakavush. Let's say a person says that he's making a neder that he's prohibited to have kavush to have pickled foods. Ain Oser Elo Min Hakavush. The only thing that's prohibited is things that are pickled shall yerek if they are vegetables. However, if he says kavush ani toim, let's say he says the pickled foods are konim to me, then I'm not going to taste them. Oser bechol hakavushim. Then he's forbidden to have. All pickled foods, not only kava shal yerek. And the Mishnah continues, min hashalak, if he says from the shalak, again, that's like the cooked foods, eno asr ela min hashalak shal basr. That only prohibits shalak of basr of meat. But again, shalak shani toem, if the language he uses is shalak shani toem, asr bechal hashalukim. Then he's forbidden to have all of these cooked foods. And the Gemara says, Zamar le ravacha bereder of avya le ravashi, ravacha bereder of avya said to ravashi, Amar Dikavishmai. What if he uses the language of Dikavish referring to the pickled foods? Or Dishalak Mai, let's say he says Dishalak again referring to the boiled foods. Or Ditsali Mai, Dimaliach Mai. Ditsali refers again to the roasted foods, Maliach the salted foods. But if he uses that kind of expression, what's the halacha? Heichin Mashma, what is it Mashma meaning to say again? Is it referring only to specific items or all items which are pickled or boiled or roasted or salted? And the Gemara says to boy, leave that as a question. And the Gemara continues with the Mishnah Min Hatzli, if he uses the language of Min Hatzli, E Nasser Ela Min Hatzli Shel Basr. It's only forbidden to have the roasted meat, Divrei Rabbi Yehuda, that's the opinion of Rabbi Yehuda. Tzli Shani Toim, if he uses the language of Tzli Shani Toim, Asr Bechol Hatzluyim, so then he's forbidden to have all roasted items. Min HaMaliach, if he says, Min HaMaliach, E Nasser Ela Min HaMaliach Shel Dog, that's a reference only to salted fish. Maliach shani toim, but if he uses the language of Maliach shani toim, Asr b'chol ha-meluchim, then he's forbidden to have all salted foods. And the Mishnah continues, Dog dogim shani toim, if he uses the phrase the fish or, or these fish shani toim, so Asr b'hen, then he's forbidden in all kinds of fish, Bein gedolim, bein ketanim, whether they're large or small, bein meluchim, bein tfalim, whether they're salted or unsalted, bein chayim, bein mevushalim, whether they're raw, raw or whether they're cooked. But he is mutter, it's permissible for him to have minced sardines and fish brine. And the Mishnah concludes, He makes a neder not to have tzachana, which is a concoction of whole fish and chopped up fish. Asr betaris terufa, then it's forbidden for him to have the minced sardines. Umutter betzir uva murius, but he is allowed to have the fish brine and the fish gravy. Hanoder mitaris terufa, now if he makes a nether from the minced sardines, asr betzir uva murius, then it's forbidden for him to have the fish brine and the fish gravy. And the Gemara says, Tanya, we learned in a Braiser, Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar Omer, Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar says, Dog sha'ani toim, if the phrase is using the word dog, so asr begedolim umutr begetanim. Then he's forbidden to have large fish, but it's mutter for him to have small fish. The word dog indicates large fish. Dogo sha'ani toim, let's say he says the word dogo, so then asr begetanim umutr begedolim. So then he's forbidden to have small fish, but he can have large fish because the word dogo indi- indicates small fish. Dog daga shani toim. If he says dog daga in the phrase, so asr bein begadol and bein bekatanim, then it's forbidden for him to have large fish and small fish. Amar le Rav Papa li Abaya. Rav Papa said to Abaya, "Mi mai the dog shani toim gadolhu." How do you know that the word dog means a large fish? Tchsev, like the pasuk says, this is in Sefer Yona. By Yaman Hashem, dog gadol live lo es Yona. It says there was a large fish to swallow up Yona. It uses the word dog, and it's referring to a dog gadol. But the Gemara says, "Vaksi." But doesn't the pasuk also say in Sefer Yona, "By Yispalel Yona el Hashem elokav mi mei hadaga"? It uses the word daga. Presumably, it's the same large fish. And the Gemara says, not necessarily. Hollow cash, it's not difficult. Dilma palte dog gadol uvale dog cotton. Maybe he was spit out by a large fish and then swallowed by a smaller fish. Elav hadaga asher by your mesa. Rather, a proof that we can bring in terms of the word daga is because it says in the Pasuk that the daga, the fish in the yor, talking about the Nile River, they died. So ketanim mesu gadolim lo mesu. Do you think only the small fish died and not the large fish? Obviously, it refers to all kinds of fish. And so the Gemara says, you're right, Ella rather Daga Mashma Gedolim Umashma Ketanim. The word Daga implies both large and small. When it comes to Nadarim by oaths, then we follow the language of people the way that people speak, and that's why Daga refers to small fish.
And the Gemara continues at the two dots. The Mishnah said, Hanoder min hatzachana v'chulu. If somebody makes a nether not to have tzachana, so that's going to include minced sardines, but it is not going to include the fish brine and the fish gravy. Amar le Ravino Ravashi. Ravina said to Ravashi, Amar hareolite sichin mai. What if instead of using the word tzachana, he uses the word sichin? What would be the halacha? Is that the same as tzachana? And the Gemara says, Tiboy, the Gemara leaves that as a question. And the Gemara continues with the Mishnah, Hanoder min hacholov. If someone takes a nether not to have cholov milk, Mutter bekom, it is mutter for him to have way. Rabbi Yossi, oh sir, Rabbi Yossi says it's prohibited to have the way. Min hakom, if he makes a nether not to have the way, mutter becholov, it is mutter for him to have milk. Abashol, Omer Abashol says, hanoder min hagvina, if he takes a nether not to have cheese, aser ba bein maluchu tefeila. It's forbidden for him to have the cheese, whether it's salted or unsalted. Hanoder min habasr, if someone takes a nether not to have basr, not to have meat. And we'll continue with this discussion in the next video. And daf nun beis, Aleph.